Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to factor a reset, a hard reset and Android device. I'll also show you recovery mode in Android, how to enable it and how to use it to recover the operating system. I'd like to point out at once we're talking about resetting the operating system. If you just need to free up some memory on your device, there is a special video about it. Find the link in the description. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The easiest way to return your Android smartphone to its original condition is to factory reset it from the corresponding line in the menu. This option is good for devices where there are no critical problems with browsing the system menu. To do it, go to the settings of your Android device. Select Storage – Factory Data Reset. These are menu items in my case. In different versions of Android, this menu may have different names, but the point is the same. The other names may be Backup and Reset, Factory Data Reset, Reset Device, Reset Phone, Backup and Restore, and so on. Usually, inside such menu you'll see several items – Factory Data Reset and Wipe Data. Just select the one you need and tap Restore or Reset. An important note – before you reset everything, make sure you have saved all data stored in the smartphone's memory – photos, contacts, SMS messages or notes. Factory Reset will wipe all the data stored in your device and it cannot be restored again. If your smartphone has a graphic key or password enabled, you will also have to enter it when resetting the device. After you do it, the actual process of resetting or recovering the system will begin. It doesn't require any user interference. Wait until it is over and finally get the device in its factory state, like brand new. Depending on the current condition of the device, you may need to reset it with the recovery mode. If your device freezes at startup while showing the logo, or you experience problems in browsing through the menu right after startup, if you are annoyed by endless error messages and strange responses of the touchscreen, this reset method is just what you need. In this case, switch the device off. To get into recovery mode, press and hold a certain key combination before the screen lights up. The combination differs depending on the device manufacturer. This combination to press at the same time can be Volume down and power Volume up and power Volume up or volume down plus power plus home button Volume up plus volume down plus power Try these combinations with your own device. Unfortunately, I can't give you any particular details. There are a great many Android devices and the number of manufacturers is growing, as well as the number of smartphones produced. You can learn more details at the website of your device manufacturer. The recovery mode interface on Android has a very special look. There is no mistaking it for anything else. Still, this interface can be different depending on the particular device. You can use the volume up and down buttons to scroll up and down the list, and confirm your choice with the power button. In newer devices, the recovery menu can be sensor-sensitive. Select Wipe Data – Factory Reset. Then choose Yes – Delete all user data. This is to confirm wiping the device's internal storage. As a result, the resetting process will start. Wait until it is over. When it's complete, the same menu will show up again. Now choose Reboot System Now. After all these actions, the smartphone or tablet will restart and factory settings will be restored. You will get the device in the condition it was when, it, when you just first turn it on. 
This is how recovery mode looks like for Android devices of most manufacturers. However, Chinese brands like Meizu and Xiaomi have chosen their own way of doing things, so they feature their own restoration method instead of the good old recovery mode. This is how it looks like. However, the final goal is the same – reset the device and restart it. Another method to reset an Android phone is to dial a service code. Star hash star hash 7780 hash star hash star means instant factory resetting, hard reset. It only removes applications. Star 2767 star 3855 hash means instant factory resetting, but unlike the previous method, it reinstalls Android completely. That is, it wipes the storage data. None of them may work, but everything depends on the manufacturer. If you need to reset your smartphone or tablet PC because you've lost it, or you need to wipe the memory and you, you don't feel like studying the previously shown methods, there is a good option for such cases offered by Google. It's the Find My Device tool, which lets you locate the phone and reset it remotely. To do it, your device should be synced to your Google account and connected to the Internet. It doesn't matter whether you use 3G or Wi-Fi. Next, log in to your Google account from the computer. Go to Google search and enter Find My Device. Select Find My Device Google and go to the corresponding tool. Look at the top left corner to see if it shows correctly the device you are going to wipe. This is an important step in case you are using several Android devices synced with this account. Select Erase, then choose Erase again. When you confirm your choice, all data and apps will be wiped from your smartphone or tablet PC, as well as all synced accounts. In fact, we have just reset the operating system. Certainly, Google developed this tool for security purposes, but even so, it's very convenient to use for wiping, so why not? By the way, in our channel there is a detailed video on how to locate a lost or stolen smartphone with the tool Find My Phone. You will find the link in the description. You can also clean the internal memory of an Android device with third-party apps, for example, Fastboot for PC or the custom recovery app TWRP Recovery, but they may be the topic for another video. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to help my software channel, if this video was interesting. Ask questions in your comments. Thank you for watching and good luck!